Ronaldo and Messi are the two goats of football. But you see, since Messi won the World Cup, it ended the GOAT debate for a lot of people. But this is Cristiano Ronaldo. The debate isn't over until he says so. Even though the man is 39 years old, he's still one of the best strikers in the world. And if we can win him the 2026 World Cup, Ronaldo could reclaim that GOAT status. We're starting things off in 2024, exactly two years away from the World Cup. Ronaldo's in the Saudi League playing for Al Nasser, and he's doing pretty well here, scoring a ton of goals. But I'll be honest, guys, if we want to take Ronaldo to World Cup glory, I don't think we can keep him here. He needs to be playing elite-level football. Otherwise, at the World Cup, when he's coming up against the best defenders in the world, he won't be able to do a thing. But also, can Ronaldo handle elite-level football? He's 39 years old. His stats are only gonna keep going down. I mean, at this point, I'm not even thinking about winning the World Cup with him. It's just getting Ronaldo there in a top-tier condition. He needs to join a top five league to keep the dream alive. But we also do have one more problem. He's still got a contract with Al Nasser and the kind of money they're paying him, they're not gonna let him go for free. But there may be a loophole because you see, Saudi Arabia, they own Newcastle and they might be willing to loan him there for one season. But we're doing it, boys. Cristiano Ronaldo is just joining Newcastle. He's going to be back in the Premier League. I really don't know how this is going to go down because he's 39 and the last time he was in the Premier League with Man United, he didn't really shine that much. But hey, if we want him to lead Portugal and win the World Cup two years from now, this is a challenge he needs to conquer. Oh, and okay, it is a tough challenge because look at the competition he's got here. Alexander Isaac, who's 24 years old. There's even Callum Wilson. The Premier League season begins as Newcastle are facing Southampton. But look at this. Cristiano is on the bench. Oh, this reminds me of the 2022 World Cup. And this is not how Ronaldo is going to be ready for the next World Cup. He needs to be playing. But again, we knew that joining Newcastle was going to be a challenge. Ronaldo is going to have to wait for this moment. Looks like he hasn't had to wait for long. Cristiano Ronaldo is coming on for his Premier League return. It's now time to see what Ronaldo can do at the highest level. But so far, he hasn't even touched the ball. Ronaldo looking to beat one does so. He can't run through, so he goes for goal from distance. That's something Ronaldo's gonna have to do. Play to his strengths. Oh, but the movement there from Ronaldo. Oh my days, the run. But he couldn't get the finish right. Full time. And although Cristiano didn't score, I saw signs that he still got it at the highest level. It's just that maybe he's a bit rusty because he was playing in the Saudi League for all this time. But looks like the Newcastle manager has seen enough and he's starting Ronaldo. Long ball played to Ronaldo. He controls it well, takes a touch. But again, it's, it feels like he's still a second behind what everybody else is doing. That's the speed of the Premier League. One thing he's still got is that movement, getting into those positions. Ronaldo looking for some options. Still Cristiano. Plays it to his teammate, but it's offside. Um, did Ronaldo try scoring from the halfway line? This ain't the Saudi League. No way. He's been hooked. Cristiano Ronaldo is coming off. Nah, he put in a disaster class so I can understand why the gaffer's done it. Full time and the game ends in a draw. But all everybody can think of is how Ronaldo was hooked. Put in a disaster class. And the media is already calling him finished. Did we make a mistake sending Ronaldo back to the Premier League? Because this feels like it's too tough for him at this age. But then again, if he wants to win the World Cup at the age of 41, he's going to have to get used to playing at this level. And Ronaldo isn't one to give up. He He's now putting extra hours in training. But will this training pay off? Because up next for Ronaldo is Spurs. He failed to score against Bournemouth and Southampton. A top team like Spurs, it's it's looking impossible. But here goes Cristiano Ronaldo. He's not taking on defenders on his own. He's linking up with his teammates. And he's found a bit of space that way. Ronaldo, but it's saved. But this is much better from him. On the other end, Spurs take advantage of Ronaldo's miss by scoring. Come on, Ronaldo. You've got to be delivering in this game. And it's a good ball for him. Ronaldo is 1v1 and he this time finishes. Cristiano Ronaldo back in the Premier League, showing that he can still compete at the highest level. Full time and Ronaldo has helped his team get a draw against Spurs. He still wasn't the Ronaldo of old, but now he's found a bit of rhythm in the Premier League and he's scoring a lot more consistently. We've now made it to March, which roughly means we're 15 months away from the World Cup. And look at this guys, Ronaldo has managed to retain his overall. He's 40 years old. 
old, but still 86 rated. And the stats that their dude top scorer at Newcastle. But there are still media articles coming from Portugal saying that he shouldn't be at the World Cup because of his age. And wait a minute, guys. Newcastle are in the FA Cup. If Ronaldo can show that in a knockout competition he can deliver, no arguments then. He can definitely do it at the World Cup. And here we go, boys. Ronaldo in the FA Cup quarterfinals. It's a knockout game, just like how the World Cup is going to be. Oh, and Ronaldo might be having his first moment in this game. Still 1v1. Nope. Ronaldo, no. In knockout games, there aren't going to be any do-overs. He needs to make the most of these moments. Oh, this is Ronaldo's ball, and he flicks it above the defender. But can he keep his composure? Of course he can. He's Cristiano Ronaldo. 40-year-old Ronaldo is taken on defenders. He beats one with the fake shot and the finish. Newcastle are through to the semi-finals. It's West Ham now in the semi-finals, and Ronaldo is back at Wembley. And yo, that is a terrible challenge on Ronaldo, not even a foul. Remember, this is a 40-year-old Ronaldo. His next injury could end his career. Ronaldo's movement is on point. He's made a brilliant run, but he's lacking pace. Gotta say, as the season's gone on, Ronaldo does feel a bit slower. But this is Ronaldo we're talking about. He always learns to reinvent himself. The movement there. He's completely through on goal. And the finish. Ronaldo's doing it at Wembley. But can Ronaldo do it one more time? Liverpool in the FA Cup final. I don't think there's a better way to prepare for the World Cup than this, boys. Ronaldo going up against England's best. It's not gonna be easy, but if he can prove it here, he'll be reaching the World Cup in a really good condition. When oh, he's found a bit of space, here goes Cristiano Ronaldo up against Virgil van Dijk and Konate. That's the level that's going to be there in the World Cup too. Ronaldo having to do a bit of defensive work, which he does. Oh, this could be a chance. Ronaldo needs to make it to the box. He's made a really nice run. Ronaldo gets the ball as well. Cristiano, tough angle, and it's straight at the keeper. And Ronaldo once again has gotten in behind of Virgil van Dijk. Yeah. Van Dijk is taking him out there. And it's looking really bad for Ronaldo. Red card for van Dijk, but I'm worried about Ronaldo's health. An injury now could be brutal. But looks like Ronaldo is up, and he's not taking this free kick, which is very interesting. And, well, his teammate has scored. Maybe that's why. To be fair, Ronaldo's free kick record lately isn't the best. No, 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 Mo Salah. How did he score that? Even a 10-man Liverpool team is a menace. Okay, Ronaldo, looks like you're going to need to score in this game. Oh, look at the space for Ronaldo to run into, but he does not have the pace anymore. It's frustrating. Ronaldo taking it out wide. It's a brilliant bit of movement. He's still got a bit of pace. Ronaldo strikes it, and it's off the post, but on the rebound post again. Ronaldo can't believe it. Extra time is going to decide who wins the FA Cup. I know this is good preparation for the World Cup, but we can't have Ronaldo playing 120 minutes of football. There's space for Ronaldo to run into. Can he take on the defenders? He's trying his best, holding it up, but I, I don't think he's got the energy left. Oh, Ronaldo's broken through an extra time. It's going to be a free opportunity for him. Still Ronaldo, but it's saved. If Ronaldo misses chances like this 15 months from now for Portugal, it might ruin his legacy. And guess what? It is going to penalties. McAllister to take the first one for Liverpool, and he scores. Joe Linton is taking the first but Newcastle misses why did Ronaldo take the first penalty Icardi scores his Fabian Schaar to take one and oh my days this is the worst penalties ever Trent he misses thankfully come on can we actually score and why is it Ronaldo taking a pen another miss oh no Ronaldo normally takes only the fifth penalty and that could cost the team here Chiesa Chiesa what what did Dick Bob do? Liverpool win the FA Cup. Nah, man. This is tough to watch. I think Ronaldo had a decent game. Got Van Dijk sent off who's partying right now. The one positive I can take out of this? 40-year-old Ronaldo was still at the level of everyone else. And one learning from this game? Ronaldo's got to be taking the first penalty. End of the season, though, and I still think we've done a good job with Ronaldo getting him to Newcastle. Because look at that. He's retained his overall. Still in 86 at the age of 40. And he scored 30. 25 goals this season. That is ridiculous. No doubts anymore. He's still got it. The question is, what's next? There's still 12 months to the World Cup. His loan spell ends with Newcastle now. But going back to Al Nasser is not an option. To prepare for the World Cup, Ronaldo needs to be playing at the highest level. And that's the Champions League. But the problem is, which Champions League club is going to take a 40-year-old? Man United? I don't think so. Especially after Ronaldo and Eric Den Haag's relationship. Real Madrid already have got Mbappe in that position. 
question. But maybe Juventus, where Ronaldo has had unfinished business. He won the Serie A for them, but never the Champions League. And what better way to prepare for the World Cup than winning the Champions League once again? With 12 months to go for the World Cup, Cristiano is joining Juventus. Right after all the formalities were sorted, Ronaldo was ready to get stuck in a preseason. This would be his last preseason before the World Cup. But before that, though, his Portugal manager, Roberto Martinez, wants to have a chat. Hey, Cristiano, I was very impressed with the season you had in the Premier League. Good decision going there, because otherwise, I don't think I would have picked you. Even now, though, I'm not sure. There's so much talent in this Portuguese national team. And let's be honest, you're 40. Anything can happen this season. Come on, boss. That is so unfair. I've been carrying this Portuguese team on my back, and I showed last season I can still score goals. But this is the World Cup. I need a striker more than goals. I'm ready to do whatever it takes, and I'll show you in the Champions League. Right off that meeting, Ronaldo went straight to the training ground, and surprisingly, he was working on his overall ability linking up with teammates. He's serious about being ready for the World Cup. And this is it, guys. Mr. Champions League is back in his competition. This is his first game since he lost the FA Cup final on penalties. And now the pressure is more than ever, because there are doubts whether he'll even get picked for the Portuguese team. But right as the game kicked off, Ronaldo went in for a header, but seemingly injured himself. Okay, this is good news, guys, because Ronaldo is walking, but he does not feel the same. I've said this before. The next injury he gets could be the very last. He needs to figure out a way to walk this injury and looks like he's being subbed off. A broken toe injury and he'll be out for the next three months. In a World Cup year, an injury like this, just as he was finding a bit of form scoring goals. I feel for Ronaldo, man. Every media article in the world is saying that this is the end of Ronaldo's career. He might come back to playing football, but not at World Cup level. Is this really it for Ronaldo? Absolutely not. The next three months, he worked harder than ever in his recovery. We're now in January, just six months away from the World Cup, and Ronaldo is back from his injury, but his overall has dipped down to 84. Five. Honestly, I was expecting Ronaldo to be like 80 rated by the time the World Cup comes, but somehow he's retained that overall quite well. Saying that though, his sprint speed has taken a massive dive. Coming from an injury like that, I'm not surprised. But Ronaldo's gonna need to adapt his game. He's lost that last bit of pace that he had too. Now, Ronaldo has missed most of the Champions League campaign, but he could still end up helping Juventus. If they win their last couple of games, they could finish top eight. Only a few games left for Ronaldo before World Cup selection begins. This is his chance. When he's found a bit of space, yeah, still Ronaldo, but he's gonna have to take a shot from distance. Ah, the loss of pace is hurt me. Ronaldo still trying to dribble a bit. He's using a bit of pace that he's got. Ronaldo, left footed effort and it's in. You cannot stop Mr. Champions League from scoring in his own competition. Oh, the fake shot there from Ronaldo. He has to use different techniques to beat players and then the finish. You can take away his space, but the skill is still there. Juventus are now ninth. Ronaldo can help them win in the final game. It could get them top eight. Ronaldo started off this game with a couple of great chances. Ah, oh, come on. How is he not scoring this? Ronaldo gets the ball and he's actually done the defender. Does he have the pace? No, I think he has. Ronaldo 1v1 and another goal in the Champions League for him. Oh, and this feels like a really big win getting Juventus in the top eight of the league phase. Ronaldo's been taking so many L's lately. I mean, last season losing the cup final, getting injured this time around. So yeah, this feels awesome. But it's the Champions League knockouts next. The level there is going to be pretty similar to what the World Cup is going to offer. If Ronaldo can do it there, Roberto Martinez has no choice but to pick him. Round of 16 and it's PSV. Mr. Champions League finally playing in the knockouts. He's the player with the most goals in Champions League knockouts games, but now at the age of 41. Can he do it? Oh, I think I can make a good run here with Ronaldo, and I do get the ball on the volley first time, but it's saved. Ronaldo's trying to make that run peeling away, but now he needs support, man. Ronaldo here using his teammate. You don't see that too often. Gets the ball back from him, opens up some space. He couldn't finish. But this is what the Portuguese boss wanted. Ronaldo linking up with his teammates, helping the team, and he's tracking back defensively too. 
Ronaldo. Oh, what a pass that is. And Coop Miners with the goal. That's what Ronaldo can do. He's much more than just goals. He's found a way to break through, but he lacks the pace. I feel bad seeing Ronaldo this slow, but he's still making it work. But no, he can't. Ronaldo has now broken through. I don't know how he's keeping the defender behind. He somehow keeps doing it. And he gets the finish this time. He's more than goals, but he's also all about goals. And with that, Juve are through to the quarterfinals. It's now the quarterfinals as Ronaldo is facing Monaco. All eyes were on Ronaldo, but it was Monaco who took the lead. You know what? So far, we haven't seen Ronaldo in a difficult situation like this. Can the 41-year-old help turn this around? Okay, Ronaldo's got a free kick now. I know his record isn't good, but can he step up in a big moment? It's off the crossbar, but his teammate puts it in. Yo, Roberto Martinez, hope you're watching that. That's, that's Ronaldo assisting his teammate. It was totally intentional. Look at the clock, guys. It's the last attack of the game, and it's Mr. Clutch Ronaldo getting through the defense, and he actually has scored. That's what Ronaldo does. You put him in the Champions League. He delivers. It's where he belongs. Juventus are through to the semi-finals. We're now officially just a month and a half away from the World Cup. But before that, Ronaldo could actually win his sixth Champions League. In spite of his injury, he's still scoring at an incredible rate. The four top scorer at Juventus. Bro, if he somehow wins them the Champions League and then possibly a World Cup, I think we might be seeing a 41-year-old Ronaldo win the Ballon d'Or. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Ronaldo still needs to knock out Bayern. But right as the game kicked off, Ronaldo got caught in an ugly duel. No, 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 no. Just a month to the World Cup. Ronaldo is down and out. This looks like a serious injury, boys, because Ronaldo had to be subbed off. Without Ronaldo, the game ended with Bayern Munich securing the win. And oh my days, the luck. It's only a bruised elbow. It could have easily been a broken elbow and kept Ronaldo out of the entire World Cup. But I think we should be fine. For the second leg against Bayern, Ronaldo is fit and recovered from his bruised elbow. But look at his fitness. Nah, guys, Ronaldo isn't fully fit. If we take a risk here and he gets injured again, it could be the end of his World Cup. And I know this could cost Ronaldo the Champions League this year, but I think sacrifices need to be made. And yes, without Ronaldo, Bayern Munich got the job done. That's the end of Ronaldo's Champions League career. And so the season ends with Ronaldo scoring 12 goals in 21 games. Nothing too crazy, but this entire season was riddled with injuries. And because of that, his stats have gone down even further. Ronaldo's going to be heading to the World Cup with an 84 overall. But actually, because of all these injuries, I'm not even sure if he's going to the World Cup. Boss, you've got to pick me. If not for the injuries... I would have won the Champions League. Calm down, Cristiano. You're in the squad. I know it's not been an easy year for you, but when you've been on the pitch, you've been scoring the goals. Now, I'm hoping you can do it for the next six weeks without getting injured. He's in the Portuguese national team, and he's the captain as well at 41. Our first objective of the video of getting Ronaldo to the World Cup is done. It's been a tough ride, but this serious business begins now. 2026 World Cup, Ronaldo's last dance. I don't know how we're going to pull this off. Before the World Cup begins though, apparently there's a way you guys can boost Ronaldo's chances of winning it. And that's by subscribing to the channel. Please do guys, it really helps me out. Now this is Portugal's group at the World Cup with teams like Ukraine and Northern Ireland. But Ronaldo's first game at the World Cup is against Morocco. That's right, the team that knocked him out in 2022. This could be Ronaldo's moment to get revenge. But wait a minute, where's Ronaldo? Goncalo Ramos is starting instead of him. Ronaldo's on the bench. Oh, this is the 2022 World Cup all over again. Now, to be fair, Ronaldo did have an injury just about a month ago, but he is fully fit. In the second half, though, with the scores level, looks like Ronaldo is coming on. He's wearing number 15. They took away his number 7 shirt, too. Well, Ronaldo's got 25 minutes to prove that he deserves to be a starter here at Portugal. Oh, but a rough challenge on Ronaldo. This is the World Cup. He's going to have to go through all of this. But okay, he's made a really good run there behind the defender. Cristiano Ronaldo. And there's the goal from him at the World Cup. A goal to give Portugal the lead. He's now the oldest player in World Cup history to score. Ronaldo. Cleverly done to find Vitinha, and he gets an assist as well. If Roberto Martinez wanted a complete forward who's helping his teammates too, Ronaldo's willing to do that. With the win secured against Monaco, Ronaldo has got his revenge. But the most important thing, it looks like Roberto Martinez is convinced. Ronaldo is fully fit and he should be the starter. You know what? First thing we gotta do is give back Ronaldo his number seven. How dare they take that from him? 
With the number seven on his back, Ronaldo was able to help his team win the last two group stage games. Oh, it's a perfect start for Portugal at the World Cup. And I can't believe it, guys. Ronaldo is one of the top scorers. Four goals in three games. And he didn't even start the first game. He was on the bench. But the serious business begins now with the knockouts. And would you believe it? Portugal faced Morocco again. Ronaldo looking for options. There is one out wide. This shows how much of a playmaker he's willing to be. And he gets the cut back. Cristiano Ronaldo, but he puts it wide. It's the World Cup. He can't miss chances like that. And they said he's through and he might score, but thankfully it's saved. That gave me flashbacks of 2022. But soon it was starting to look like history was going to repeat itself because Monaco were looking like the better team. And my biggest worry was coming true. Ronaldo physically just seems unable to keep up. Guys, we're in extra time. I don't know how long Ronaldo can continue. He's got no stamina left. I can't believe how Ronaldo is still going, man. But he finds Rafael Lau brilliantly. Does he have strength for one more run? He does. And he's broken through. Cristiano Ronaldo with the goal. The movement there. Even at the age of 41, that's what he can give. Portugal have knocked Morocco out. Oh, but the intensity of the World Cup is taking a toll on Ronaldo's body. Again, down by another overall. But to be honest, for a 41-year-old Ronaldo to still have these kind of stats, it's incredible. But up next is Ronaldo's biggest challenge yet, England at the World Cup. Ronaldo hasn't had many opportunities in this game, but this might be one of them, and it's off the crossbar. Oh, England have made a mistake. Cristiano Ronaldo, he squares it for his teammate. Unselfish play from Ronaldo. Sets it up for Rafael Leao. This is what's needed for him to win the World Cup. But the game had only just begun because Portugal conceded a penalty. Ronaldo needs his teammate. Man, and Diogo Costa, what a save. Oh, the celebrations. Just like Emmy Martinez saved Messi at the World Cup. Diogo Costa's doing it for Portugal and Ronaldo. And Portugal are through to the semi-finals of the World Cup. Ronaldo needs... Needed a bit of luck from his teammates and he got it. But wait, guys, Ronaldo is injured. Okay, I do remember him <gasps> suffering a bit of a knock in the last game. Not before the World Cup semi-finals. Thankfully, it's a blue shoulder, so he should be 100% fit in three days. Oh, but his overall has dropped a bit down to 83. Wait a minute, in three days, Portugal faced Germany. I don't think Ronaldo's gonna be fit. Okay, he has recovered from the injury, but he's got absolutely no fitness. I don't think Ronaldo can play this game. He's gonna have to start on the bench. And I don't think he can even get any sort of game time. It's too big of a risk. Ronaldo is going to have to trust his teammates to get the job done. Because if they do, Ronaldo will be fresh and ready for the final. Can his teammates help save his legacy? This is it. And they can. Rafael Leao, what a legend. Portugal and Ronaldo will be playing a World Cup final against Spain. And Ronaldo now has full fitness. And he's the top scorer currently at the World Cup alongside his teammate Leao. He could win the Golden and the World Cup. These last couple of seasons, we've put Ronaldo through so many hardships, playing at Newcastle in the Premier League, then Juventus in the Champions League, getting through so many injuries. But it's all been worth it because we can now save his legacy. This is it, guys. The biggest game in Ronaldo's life. A World Cup final. And it's also going to be the last game of his career. He's retiring after this, so either he ends his career as world champion or his legacy is tarnished. Oh, man, I'm nervous. The last time we played a final with Ronaldo was the FA Cup and he lost on penalties so I, I don't know how to feel about this. Last but up against the Spain team that's got Nico Williams and look at him go first chance and goal. Spain have taken the lead. It couldn't have been a worse start boys for Portugal and Ronaldo. He's gonna have to find something and get this team back into it but you look at the way he's moving he, he does not look normal. Of course, he just suffered that injury and missed the semi-final because of it. Lamine Yamal now is on the charge. This Spain team is impossible to deal with. I don't know what Ronaldo can do tonight. Well, this is what he can do. Set up Rafael Leao, who's completely through on goal. Come on, Leao. He's got to score this. I can't believe he missed. Ronaldo is having to dribble through like that. Looks for a pass for Vitinha. Rafael Leao now. Come on, Portugal. What can you do? Ronaldo once again loses it. And then it's taken away by Spain. They're just too good. It's half time. Portugal and Ronaldo are staring at disappointment yet again. Oh, but Ronaldo gets taken <gasps> out. And it looks like he's down. Not another injury. At the same time, Rafael Leao might score. And he actually does. I don't know how to feel about that. We're back in this World Cup. 
But Ronaldo is suffering from another injury. How many injuries is this poor guy gonna get? He is 41. But uh, now I just I just can't feel he can move. It might be over, boys, for Ronaldo's World Cup. He's still trying his best, though. He's still trying his best, and he's got an in behind the defense somehow. An injured Ronaldo. He's giving it everything. And Cristiano Ronaldo. Nothing can stop this man. Portugal are leading against Spain. Bro, look at him. He can barely stand properly. How has he done this? Just about 10 minutes left in this game to hang on Ronaldo is giving it everything he does not have the strength or pace I think he should be subbed off but who's taking him off the pitch here he keeps trying but it's not working 10 minutes can this Portugal team hang on okay they've given a lot of space here to Ronaldo he's gonna have to pass this one to Bruno he does not have the energy Bruno Fernandes though has it and Bruno scores with Ronaldo setting him up it's full time Ronaldo is a World Cup winner oh man this was a grind sending him to the Premier League at the age of 39 then Champions League football at the age of 40 going through all those injuries but he somehow pushed through with the help of his teammates Ronaldo is a World Cup winner. And with that, we've saved his legacy. Now it's up to you, Ronaldo, to get this done in real life. If you enjoyed this video, watch me replay the career of Gareth Bale. Click here.